Life on Earth is tough. We have to endure brutally hot summers, frigid winters, and we're confined to a few small areas where we can reasonably grow food and build cities. Still, we are extremely lucky to live on a planet that even has some ability for us to survive. Our next vi most viable option for survival in the solar system is Mars, and, well, it's not that great. Our, now, before we get into how we could live on Mars, I would appreciate one day video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to tune to for future content. Okay, so before we get into how we could possibly live on Mars, we need to know what the conditions there are like. First off, it's really cold. The average temperature there is about negative 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about as cold as a winter in Antarctica. Fortunately, equatorial summers can get up into the plus 70s, which we all know is a reasonably comfortable temperature. But even there, the nights are absolutely frigid. Why is that? Well, the atmosphere is ridiculously thin, so most of the heat is lost to space. It's so thin, in fact, that the pressure on Mars is only about half the pressure needed to sustain liquid water. Any water is either frozen or gaseous. What atmosphere Mars does have is extremely toxic. 96.5% of it is carbon dioxide, and most of the rest are other hostile gases like nitrogen and methane. Fortunately, there is a small oxygen component. About 0.14% of the atmosphere is made up of it, not nearly enough to actually breathe. Even if there was enough oxygen, the high carbon dioxide content would still kill us. Last but not least, Mars has no magnetic field. This leaves the surface exposed to harmful solar radiation, which, as we all know, can cause skin cancer here on Earth. Only, on Mars, no amount of sunscreen would block it. So, how do we circumvent these hostile conditions and create a safe and healthy Martian colony? Well, obviously solving just one of these isn't enough. Even one condition alone can be lethal. We need to tackle all of them. So, my solution is to build domes up. Big glass domes that protect the colony. The domes all alone already solve a few problems. They help block out harmful radiation uh, and create, create a temperature-controlled environment and increase the pressure enough that we can breathe normally and sustain liquid water. However, we still have a few problems. How do we grow food? How do we get water and oxygen? And how do we power the colony? The last one is easy to solve. Just install solar panels on the landscape to power the colony. The water and oxygen are more difficult. You could try to make them by combining atoms, but that requires extensive nuclear fusion, and we do not yet have the technology for that. As a result, we'll have to rely on the environment. We can get our water from frozen ice on Mars, and we can try to extract a small amount of oxygen from the Martian atmosphere. The latter we once again do not have the technology to create, but that isn't as far off as full-blown nuclear fusion. Finally, we can get our fuel by making a greenhouse where plants can grow. This greenhouse could be less protected than the remainder of the colony, enough so that carbon dioxide from outside can sustain the crops. Combine all of these strategies, and I think we have the framework for a, su for a successful colony. And that wraps up for this video about possible strategies for a colony on Mars. As always, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to, to, to stay tuned for future content. Thanks, and have a great day.